This is the Garden Minute brought to you by Swedish Covenant Hospital. Hi, my name is Lamanda Joy, founder of the Peterson Garden Project, and today we're going to talk about cabbage worms and what to do about them. So you notice on this cabbage that there's lots of these little holes all over the place, right? That means that we've got some cabbage worms here. So we can start going in and looking for them. You can look on the bottoms of the leaves. So some insect pests are brightly colored to warn predators that they might taste bad or they're dangerous. They've evolved that way and some have evolved to really blend in with their surroundings. So you'll notice this little cabbage worm looks very much has the same coloration as the cabbage. I'm just gonna pick him up. He's kind of fuzzy. So that's what that guy looks like, and he is not good for our cabbage. So as cute as he may be, I'm gonna squish him. Ew. So if you look underneath this, uh, this summer squash leaf, you're gonna see these little brown dots. Those are uh, squash bug eggs. And uh, if you inspect your plants and find these, then there's a really way to get, uh, easy way to get rid of those. So we're just gonna use our fingernail and squish them off there. Ew, 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 right? A little gross, that's fine. This is a, one of the main ways of dealing with pests organically is just to remove them yourself. So we're going to take care of those squash bugs and then they won't be bothering our plant. This has been the Garden Minute. Special thanks to the Chicago Flower and Garden Show, Swedish Covenant Hospital, and Production One Media.